Hey ladies, thanks for joining me today. I know I'm a day late on my video, but I had the most amazing experience yesterday. If you're friends with me on Facebook, then you saw my bat post. Um, for those of you who don't know, I've been obsessed with bats my entire life, and I so seriously uh, hit a, um, a milestone in my life. For 20 years, I've been wanting to see Mexican free tail bats come out of a cave. Um, there was 12 million, 12 million strong coming out, and it was amazing. Uh, and it was my because of Jamberry story this week. You know, my paycheck for this week paid for a little day trip to go out there. So that was really, really awesome. And I, so yeah, I was really busy yesterday. wasn't able to post, but I had something really important I wanted to talk to you about. And I'm actually glad I waited because I just had something else that happened that really kind of solidified what I want to talk about today. So I wanted to talk about how. Things that happen to us that we think are negative or we think that aren't working out for us really can turn into good things. So I have a couple examples of things like that that happened to me this week. So I had a vendor event that I did a few a couple of months ago that was just completely what I had considered a complete dud. It, it really didn't turn out to anything. I, I had a book to party that ended up canceling. And then I had made a couple contacts with some vendors, but there just there wasn't very much traffic, and it was dead. So I had kind of considered it a wash, so to speak, and just kept it moving. So this week I contacted one of the vendors because I, I got signed up for another vendor event in July, and of course through my networking I was like, hey, this particular person is looking for vendors for her event. You know, I thought of you because you, you know, you were really fantastic getting to talk to you at the at the vendor event before, and I wanted to share the this upcoming event with you. And so I sent her the information. I also sent her my training that I did last week on the vendor stuff that I posted last week, and I shot that through her in an email and stuff. And by the end of the conversation, she's like, mm, so I think I want to be on your team. <laughs> How do I do that? Right? So um, I, we, we keep kind of missing each other, our, our, our conversations, but I'm going to get a hold of her this weekend. But basically, something that I thought was a complete dud, that even though I, I, I kind of tossed it aside, it turns out that I actually have something, a lead coming from that event. The second thing that happened to me yesterday is this live party that I've been planning for like three weeks now, scheduled for today, ended up getting rescheduled because her air conditioning is broken and it's like 95 degrees outside. So she doesn't want to have guests over. Naturally, I, you know, it's cool. Well, that happened to me last night and I'm looking, you know, and of course I'm like, Oh, I really needed this party. It's the end of the month. I'm a little short on my PRV goal for the month. And I was really needing this live party. And then, you know, so I could have moped around all morning and been like, oh, but instead I'm like, no, I'm going to, I'm still going to work tonight. I'm still going to have a party. So I started messaging people and guess what? I booked a party for tonight. Um, so it, you know, it's back on. It really just, you know, what it comes down to is the fact that when you think that things are not turning out the way that you want them to, always turn and see how you can make it into something good. And just because you think that something, like you had a dud party or maybe you didn't have any sales, that doesn't mean you should give up on those leads or give up on that time that you set aside. You know, I could have just as well said, oh, okay, well, I guess I won't work tonight and sat on my lazy butt and done nothing. And how would that have helped my business? It wouldn't have. Or if I had completely dismissed all of, you know, and not made any contacts or not re-engaged with those people from that, from that previous, um, from that previous show, you know, even though it was only like one or two contacts that I have that I had, I still re-engaged with them, and now I might not ha I might have a new team member from it. So that just goes to show that just because you think something is a dud doesn't mean that it is a dud. Keep expanding your network. Keep 
meeting new people. You have to get out and meet new people and keep those contacts ready and handy and available. And that is the true essence of network marketing is always expanding your, your network and really coming back to helping people out and getting people connected. So thank you so much for listening to me today. I'm going to go get ready for my party. Y'all have a fantastic weekend and happy Memorial Day.